Welcome back everyone. In this session, we will see the different types of Agile frameworks. We learnt about Agile methodology for development and under that umbrella, we have different types of frameworks with which we can implement Agile. This include Scrum, Kanban, Extreme Programming, Adaptive Software Development, Dynamic Software Development, Feature Driven Development, Behavior Driven Development. And we will go through all these frameworks in detail now. In the Scrum framework, the overall product is broken down into features called stories or user stories or epics by the product owner. These stories are then prioritized for each print or cycle, release cycle as you may call it. A typical team consists of seven to nine members, including a Scrum master and a product owner. The intent of this framework is to ensure that at the end of each print, there is a demo given to the product owner who confirms the product meets the intended objectives. The Scrum method is also characterized by certain ceremonies like daily stand-up meeting, sprint review meetings, demo to the product owner and a retrospective meeting. The Kanban framework typically addresses the challenges of Scrum. In Scrum framework, it is two to three weeks for each print and if there are any bottlenecks along the way, there is a need to wait for two to three weeks before these issues can be addressed. However, Kanban is a visual management of the work that is being done by the team and it helps to easily identify the bottlenecks in the process and helps address it immediately. There are certain business scenarios where the sprint level commitments with respect to scope and quality have not been met and the Kanban typically addresses these challenges and it has been found to be disruptive as to wherever it has been implemented. Scrum framework may not be suitable for projects where the customer requirements keep changing. The volatility is very high with respect to the needs of the customer and there is a huge technical risk. In such scenarios, extreme programming framework is more suitable. Extreme programming values include continuous feedback from clients and across all teams, simplicity of the solutions that is being implemented, readiness and courage to address any changes, respect for each other. These are the core extreme programming values. Extreme programming focuses on promoting teamwork, enhancing and learning of the team members, fostering a good environment. Developers generally work in pairs, pair programming, typically switching the roles that they play. Scrum does not tell how the team should work, but extreme programming emphasizes on good development practices. The adaptive software development framework is based on the principle adapt to change and don't fight against it. There are three main stages. The first stage is the speculation where the different teams discuss on what are the key goals, objectives of the project, what are the key features to be developed, what are the limitations and risks. The second phase is the collaboration where the teams come together and if there is any learning, it is shared across the teams so that the other team does not need to learn it from scratch. The last phase, the learn phase is a very important phase where the lessons learned, what went well, what did not go well, all the positives and negatives are captured, which was going to be useful for the effectiveness of the project. In the traditional approach, the focus is primarily on the features. There is sometimes a compromise on the quality. There may also be slippages with respect to time and with respect to cost. The dynamic software development method is for projects which are characterized by tight budgets and schedules. It focuses on frequent delivery of products where the development is incremental and iterative in nature. The focus is more on time and cost and quality and the features are developed in an incremental fashion. Feature driven development is implemented for projects which operate with large teams. All team members need not be equally talented or disciplined. The FDD framework helps in addressing such scenarios. Feature driven development offers solutions on how to organize the teams, how to program code and is effective for all projects that are being delivered by large teams. Behavior driven development aims in bringing 
non-technical people together in the process of creating the system's technical functionality. It is based on building the scenarios and features and this ensures that when a functionality is started, the exact flow on the next steps and the desired outcomes are well known and understood. It happens sometimes that when we do the development, we involuntarily fail to include the business functionality in the process and it may lead to serious bugs. This model ensures that such scenarios are avoided. To summarize, we have now seen the different types of agile frameworks, Scrum, Kanban, Extreme Programming, Adaptive Software Development, Dynamic Software Development, Feature Driven Development, Behavior Driven Development. We will go through each of these frameworks in much more detail in the following sessions. Thank you.